I just goddamn realized my webcam is fucking being a right prick. All right, fair enough. Hello, YouTube, Twitch, everyone. Welcome. Okay, Nathan, right away. Game's a little quiet for me. Game is just a hair quiet. Nathan immediately getting me demonetized. Because that's just what a good friend he is. Uh, Blue Dragon, the sequel. Finally, at last, the people demanded it. And by people, I mean the person demanded it. And here we are. I don't know anything about this game. Other than that, the touch screen is the dominant screen. I played it for like three minutes just to kind of get a feel for it. Uh, ew! But anyway. Yeah, Nathan's never played the, the sequel to his beloved childhood game. A console he's had for well over a decade. 14 years ago, this game came out. It can almost vote. And Nathan never played this one. Never found the time. True fan right there. Oh, new game. What am I, a bitch? Tutorial? No. No. A year has passed since Shu and his friends defeated Nene and his nefarious plans. That sounds right. That was about a year ago. Oh, I didn't know it existed. Wow, fake fan. Oh, great. The audio is just not scuffed at all. This 8K cutscene. Beautiful. I love it. Ah, oh dear. Oop. Mmm, crisp is how I would describe that. Nintendo DS. Ambitious back in the day. By the way, uh, I will be using action replay codes if I feel like it because grinding is cringe and cheating is based. I remember them. That's Sam Regal and the other one. King fucking Jabroni and Pirate Woman. I don't remember them doing this. Well, great, great shot. Thanks. Yo, guys, rated E for everyone. How about some cooch right on screen? My controller is fucking sit still in my lap. I swear to God. Oh, name, you'll never be first. We've been over this. Many a time have we been over this. That's shoe. I, I love the way they're taking full advantage of the DS's stacked screens that definitely work on Twitch super well and super nicely. Hey, Zola. That's her name. Zola, where's the shadow? I don't know. Shu, a native of Talta Village. Yeah, I remember that. Able to use the dragon shadow after swallowing a light sphere. It wasn't a great idea at the time, but it worked out for him. Went on an epic adventure a year ago with Jiro, Zola, Kluke, and Matarame, which led to defeating Nene and saving the world. His favorite line is, I won't give up. Was that his line? You've been lurking? Oh, hell yeah, Penguin. Shout out to the lurkers. It's good old Salsa Village. Yeah, Jiro's here. He's back, everyone. Roll all round, all round, not all around, just all round fighter. Shu is well balanced unit with powerful skills. The attack range of his swordmaster skill extends straight ahead, inflicting damage to multiple targets in a straight line. Oh, good! It's a dungeon crawler. Got it. Love it. He was the one who said, "I won't give up." Did he say that? Remember him just being kind of a bitch. Here's what I remember about Blue Dragon. Uh, the final boss was pretty uh, pretty damage spongy, and uh, they gave a girl a necklace rather than talking to her like a normal human being. He wields skills with elemental attributes that inflict massive amounts of damage. Utilizing elemental weakness of enemies will inflict even more powerful damage. Keep this unit alive during battle is critical, especially during the first part of the story. All right, so we can fucking leave him to rot in the second half. Got it. It disappeared around here. Oh, God, Zola's sprite is uh, a little wanting. Leaves a little bit to be desired there. She met Nene. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot. She worked for him for like 10 minutes. She met Nene while traveling the world as a mercenary. She swallowed Nene's soul. That's in the X-rated version, which she later threw away or spit out while traveling with Shu and the gang. Only she knows the location of Nene's soul. 
It took them a year to track that down. She uses a killer bat shadow and leads King Jabral's swordsman as captain. Ah, yes, King Jabroni. His whole character arc is that he loses to Nene before Disc 3 and learns a lesson that giving something or other, I don't know. Oh, name got cut off there. Roll Speedster. She's KO'd rather easily. I don't recall that. She is not made for front lines of battle. Uh, her strength is in her movement speed and can move around the map quickly. So is this like Final Fantasy Tactics? Is this what we're doing here? Giving up uh, was not losing the war, only the battle. Ah, right, of course. Uh, having her roam the battlefield, opening treasure boxes, and drawing enemies to the stronger characters in her party is a good tip. Oh, God, this is a whole thing. You couldn't have just made it a JRPG? What the fuck is this? Once she learns a movement type skill, have her distract the enemy. Uh, keep her well equipped with medicine and have her heal when necessary. Wasn't she like a DPS in the last game? What the fuck is that about? Jiro hasn't shown up yet. You haven't missed him, 7-9. It has three heads, right? Lady... Oh, God, this guy. Matarame over here. Lady Zola! Mercifully, the game is not voice acted. She sure was. Indeed. Ha! Huh? You okay? Ah, Matarame. Every character is a wild card, but assassin is for DPS. Yeah, I thought she was DPS. It seems like she's a support character here. Matarame is from the Devi tribe, a native of Lago Village. He was tricked into swallowing Nene's soul, which gave him control of the saber-toothed tiger shadow. Jira was the healer. Yeah, that sounds right. And Zola was the assassin. Yep. Uh, Worshipped Zola uh, and always calls her Lady Zola out of respect and affection. Age unknown. Is it respect? Is that what it is? Roll is powerhouse. What? Madarame is a well-balanced unit with eventual and will eventually learn power-up and healing skills. He's an independent fighter that can take on a small number of enemies without help from allies. Excuse me? I don't recall that. Yo, who's fucking rewriting history over here? Revisionists in my stream? Unbelievable. You like today's blurb? What do you mean? You don't like, you don't like the blurbs every day? I don't... Outrageous. Old. Quiet, you. Uh, if you place uh, Matarame in a specific formation and use a light skill, the saber tooth looks like it's holding Zola's ass. Oh, well then. The attack and defense stats are separated into physical, magic, attack, or defense. The damage will differ depending on which type of attack or defense is being utilized. Matarame's strength lies in physical attack, so he's strong against enemies with low physical defense. All right, that tracks. It's like Pokemon. In the original, I know nothing of this game. Oh, well, fair enough then. What? Shaw, let it go. Shaw, dude. Man, Zola, you're too easy on Madarame. Fucking throw him off the edge already. <laughs> and everyone's favorite party member, Zazbo. <laughs> you know, he was there the whole time and definitely wasn't a horrifically difficult boss fight. Was a slime and how do you ranch it? Yeah, I don't know. I've never played those games. Matarame technically learns a healing skill in the form of meditation. That's true. You can die multiple times. Yeah, I, I killed him like thrice. Unbelievable. They saved him at the end, but I mean, really. You bring him back before Kluke and Jiro? What, Zazbo? Are you siding Matarame? I'm not siding with Matarame. I'm siding with Lady Zola. King Gibraltar has rebuilt me and gave me a second chance at existence. To show my gratitude... It's been a year. Have we not been over this? To show my gratitude, I shall protect him and Lady Zola as long as I am active. Yeah, Zazbo. The former general of Mecha Robos. I wonder if the rest are in this game. He used to be a servant of Nene, but later befriended Shu and friends. He now serves King Jabroni and is fiercely loyal to both him and Zola. First Osbo fight is hard. The rematch uh, in the first phase was hard. The one where, I mean, the yeah, the first one where, like, you're on top of the ship is difficult. And then you, you rematch, like, all of them at once. And it's pretty fucking rough. Icon's characters look like lower quality versions of the model from the Xbox game. Yeah, it's the DS, Nathan. Jero and Kluke dating canon now? I don't know. She was asked out a year ago and said, wait until my next birthday. It's true. We'll have to find out. 7-9 here, he thought he was semi-loyal. Yeah, but he gotta see Jiro. We have to begin our investigation. Stop being a nuisance. He's here temporarily. Ah, of course. 
Let me go. Stop. I said let me go. Sosbo, yes. Be gentle. Of course. <laughs> uh, classic Sosbo. She said be gentle. Humph. Ah, I see they're getting along. Jeppo, voice acting might be dying. Oh, no. What, do you mean the industry as a whole or, like, just this game? That's a question you've asked for years. Well, I mean, you'll get there, right? Shoe. Oh, it's shoe, not shaw, dude. Let's get started. Of course it's shoe. That's It's just the font is kind of low res. The industry. How How is the industry going away? There's always going to be animated television shows. People are suggesting using AIs to replace voice actors. Ah, that's not going to happen. Not at all. You need um you need the fine tuning of uh, human intuition and a certain amount of some of the best moments in voice acting come from improv and there's no way an AI can do that it can just generate the voice and even then it will have trouble with certain inflections and certain line readings that you would have to tell it to do to the point where it's not worth it and just pay a person to do it. Are you next birthday? Oh yeah, and the land sharks, of course. God, people fucking popping off in chat over Blue Dragon. Some voice actors are supporting it. They just want to retire. Three hours ago in Neo Gibral Castle. Speaking of voice actors, Sam Regal, ladies and gentlemen, in the last game. A shadow, but how? King Gibral, also known as King Gibral the 16th. It's a lot of kings. Stood firm and fought against Nene's evil ploys. He let Shu fight Nene in his stead. I think I don't think that's quite how that happened. He let me fight. I think he sat back while I did all the work is what happened. Uh, as he did not possess the power to control a shadow. Created Neo Gibral Castle when the original castle was destroyed. Good for him. With your permission, I was hoping to investigate the area. Shoulder gremlin where? He's dead, isn't he? Yes, go ahead and arrange it. My boys, the acclaimed, won the AEW tag titles. Good on them. Game ends with King Gibral learning fire magic. Hope it's a party member. Eh, it could be. Potential. Yes, sir, a shadow is definitely created by the light of someone's soul. You must go down the silver cube uh, to the silver cube from whence the shadow came. The only reason I can think voice actors supporting AI voice acting is A, it's kind of a neat thing and it would be cool to see. It's hardly going to replace people, though. It would just be like maybe a cool thing to do a robot voice or something with. And, uh... I mean, that's really it. They just don't think it's going to replace them as an industry. It just might be cool to have. Weren't there also water cubes? There are a lot of cubes. This is the water cubes. I don't know if I'll have the choice. This isn't as expensive as, uh... the Xbox one. Let's see. Keith lose, uh, the strap. Uh, as he's your favorite wrestler, but the acclaim deserve. Oh, sad to see Keith lose a strap. Mm. Loving the remix of the OST. Good on you. Uh, agreed. Oh, I must ask you to consider taking Shu with you. Shu? Why? He controls a dragon shadow as well. Something you should totally know. I mean, obviously. His shadow seems to be a result of a courageous heart. Nah, he ate something. He ate like a, a, a spherical, or, yeah, glowy little ball, and that gave him a cool ass shadow. But the. That seemed to radiate pure malevolence. It's probably just my imagination. But I feel that the two dragons have a connection. Shouldn't you want to keep them far away from each other then? Understood. I'll contact him right away. Why are you here? Maru wants to go too. Matarame? I was afraid he was listening, and yet did nothing to prevent it. Glad Blue Dragon 2 will involve a Blue Dragon. I should hope so. Uh, he ate a shard of Nene's soul, got trolled, and then was awakened by calling a girl worthless and wanting to kill herself. It's true. That's how it happened. Very well. Take Zazbo as well. Because, you know, fuck it. Why not? He's earned some vacation. Zazbo! You object? He is an entirely different machine now. Yeah, but... Matarame, can you go fetch Shu? Okay. Maru be back soon, Lady Zola. Please don't get too friendly with... Is that your concern? Alright, well... I mean, isn't she dating the king? So... He certainly speaks his mind. 
That's what I like about him. Oh, is that all? Where's Jiro? He'll show up. Matarame is the Morgana of this game. Well, I know how to say Matarame. I forget what his name is, and the font size is not the best. If you can believe it, resolution on the DS, not quite up to snuff. It's like 12p. Something's coming. Oh, these things. I actually recognize you. Mecha Robos! Why? How? Uh, Madarame. Madarame. Got it. Okay. Double digit per. Double digit P. Yeah, indeed. Looks like they're preparing for an assault. Get ready. Oh, that's... Huh. That's new. Yo, fucking Red Dragon? What the fuck? Playing the wrong game. Got the Game Boy one. Can that be? Impossible. Mecha Robos do not possess souls. There's no way he can control the light of the heart without one. The light of the heart? Wrong version. Indeed. Well then, what do we what do you call that? Oh my god. Alright, win! Defeat all enemies. So this is Final Fantasy Tactics. Lose. Par parties defeated. It really is just Final Fantasy Tactics, huh? Alright. We got a map. Oh, real time. What? Oh god. Uh Oh god, I have to use I have to use the touch screen? Oh, ew. Ew! Ew! Ah, oh, who told me to play that? How dare you? How dare you? Fuck, I also don't know what I'm doing. I didn't play the tutorial partly because I thought the tutorial would be in the fucking game. I'll be honest with you. Uh... Alright, so that's probably... It's, it's the first battle. How hard could it be? That's probably magic. That's... Or fire. That might be ice. Remix of the battles uh, sounds awesome. Well, there you go. Uh, a grid system would be nice if I could turn that on somehow. You want to move maybe with a little bit more urgency there, champ? Ow. Oh, this is... What the fuck, dude? Oh, God, it's... It's an RTS? Oh, fuck this. No, 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 no. No, 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 We have a rule against RTSs around here. This is a one stream game, everyone. Hope you enjoy this. This ain't fucking happening. No, 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 no. The only thing I hate more than roguelikes is a fucking RTS. One stream, baby. We were saddled in for a lot of streams, but this is not fucking happening. I'm not even playing this with fucking action replay codes. Absolutely not. Although it does seem like I can just click all and have people gang up on people. That gets the that gets the job done. Water sword, and then I can like yeah, I select their specific things. That's kind of cool though, graphically. I'll give him that. Game looks pretty rad. That changes characters. I don't know what this is. Medicine, okay. Water Sword, Prince of Persia reference. Yo, indeed. Hey, everyone go, like, what the fuck? We just let that happen. Why, why didn't we, like, I don't know, take steps to prevent that? Gang up on this fool and kill him. What are we doing? Outrageous. Uh, enemy active activity has been detected or deactivated. What's going on? Yo, I'm not playing a fucking RTS. That's insane. Got the Kingdom Hearts treatment. By, uh, how do you mean? It's suddenly a card game? that I would like more than an RTS. How can a Mecha Robo control a shadow? Well, Nene comes immediately to mind. Nene, that can't be. Might as well play with the mouse, honestly, for like 
fuck my controller. Might as well just play with the mouse. It's clearly meant to be played on the touch screen. That's where all the crazy shit's happening. Perhaps another ancient. The lore just got fucked. Oh, well, I mean, it is a sequel. Like a direct sequel. It's not like a, a rewriting or anything. How is that even? It's one year after the events of the first game. Like, exactly a year. My monitor fucking went completely black there for a second. That was weird. No idea what that was about. Be careful, I'm sensing some movement from our position. It's probably the leader of the Mecha Robos. How the fuck does robot control a shadow? Maybe they'll explain it. Yo, not gonna lie though, the cutscenes for the Nintendo DS and the fact that, you know, they're in like 12p and, you know, nine frames a second, they aren't terrible. They're, they're, they're kind of cool cutscenes. One year is enough to change genres. I mean, fuck. Kingdom Hearts did it. Or a purple dragon is meant to belong to Nene. Eh, maybe Nene's soul's in the robot. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. That's right. Can I? Nope. I, ne I need the controller to fucking move the goddamn camera. It is, uh, in my opinion, not, uh, not the, uh... Maybe not the, uh, the most fluid of games. Doesn't remake entirely? Well, I guess not. Can we not damage the thing? I was reading chat. Hey, our attacks aren't doing anything! Ah, a scripted loss. Uh-oh, this I can handle. Enemy's armor is too strong! Our power is not sufficient to inflict damage. What can we do? I know! <laughs> the writing leaves a little bit to be desired. Oh wow, environmental kills. That's, honestly, that's kind of impressive. Shoo, the electricity from the pipe should work perfectly. Right, let's do this. I'll attract its attention. Hit the switch at the right time and give him a jolt. All right, uh, shoo, my boy. Go over, like, there. Can I... That's... Okay, I can change... God almighty. It really did just go full RTS. You... Head over to the Switch. Hey, uh... My guy. Maybe you wanna, like, not be there. Okay, uh... Psh, hey, hit the Switch, why don't you? Madarame's clearly in the way, but, you know... Even all in your eye, showing you what you can't see. It does not have that song, unfortunately, which is a shame. All right. The enemy's defenses have been lowered. Our normal attacks can inv I'm going to move my controller since I'm not going to balance it on my lap this whole fucking stream. For the one stream we're playing Blue Dragon. Yo, we're burning through games this week. One stream games all around. Let's go. Oh, yeah, uh, Sazbo, get in there. In fact, everyone fucking hammer home. Too bad you're looking forward to this. That's a shame. Of course, yeah, it is a one-stream game, because it turns out this is an RTS, and I'm not doing that. Uh, counter it? Sure, he's not focused on you, but go for it. RTS, real-time strategy. At least you didn't have to pay for this one. It's true! I did not have to pay for this one. Which is to say, it is a strategy game in real time. Can Shimigami Tensai 4? Let's see how long it is to beat before I say yes on that, shall we? Also, isn't that 3DS? Oh, I found a radar! Yay! Well, I mean, there's a difference. I can emulate 3DS, but I don't have the... It's like Citra, I think, is the program. I don't have it. I'd have to download it. Get that all set up. I got seven medicine out of that? Yeah, all right, sure. All right. Favorite part of the stream is spinning the wheel? Well, I mean... 
It'll probably unless unless something really clicks in this game and it's piss easy, and it's like, yeah, I guess I can just bullshit my way through this. That's probably happening. I hear something. Let's go take a look. We might find out more about the shadow. All right, Zosbo, you come with us, as opposed to what, would we just ditch him? What was the plan there? Is Fire Emblem off the table? No, that's not real time. That's turn based. Also depends on the Fire Emblem, I guess. I already played one of them. Sacred Stones, I think. Oh my god. He's not really dead. Also, I apologize that like some of the cutscenes are happening down on the bottom and some of them are happening on the big screen. I kind of had to... I played like three minutes of this to make sure what screen I needed to focus on. It's not going to be perfect. I'm sorry. I wonder what uh, Blue Dragon 3 is. If it's like an actual JRPG or if it's more of this crap. Where the fuck is Jiro? Where's Kluke and Jiro? The people demand to know. I undoubtedly will see them at some point here, but like... How do you bring back Zazbo and not Kluke and Jiro? Blue, Blue Dragon has a third? Certainly does. There's three Blue Dragon games, baby. What is this place? Well, I mean, it's the cube. You landed here. Shu, do you feel that? Yeah, you too? Do you mean the energy that seems to be emanating from this place? Is it this machine? Zazbo was brought back in the original. Well, yeah, he was alive, but like, what the? Why is he here in the story right now instead of Kluk and Jiro? Is my point. Like, who gives a shit about Zazbo? It's a lot more lifelike than that. I wonder if it's that. Hey, that light sphere. Want to fucking pop it, Sazbo, so you can have a dragon too? This game apparently has 16 player characters and one of them's a poo snake. Oh, God almighty. Yeah, this is a one stream game, guys. It's an RTS with 16 player characters. I'm not doing this shit. Did make the game hard and, in my opinion, helped adapt the difficulty of the games. Okay, yes, but my point is he had an arc and his arc was done. What the fuck is he doing within the first five minutes of the sequel as a party member when Kluke and Jiro are nowhere to be seen? That's my point, own name. You can have him in the game if you want and even be a party member. But before Kluke and Jiro even show up to say hi? What the fuck? Is it Nene's soul? That would be easy. Oh. Yes, but why is it here? Who cares? Bottle that shit up and launch it out of a cannon. Tutorial enemy. He's not the... Ah, uh, whatever. Don't you have a shadow? Why are you just eating that? Okay, flashback to the previous game. When things looked a lot better, but was a lower frame rate, I guess. Further expanded on later segments of the game. I was gonna say, what the fuck? I thought she just ate that, like, straight up. Shoo, did you hear that? Yeah, where did it come from? Above us? Oh, damn. Look, oh, look who it fucking is. Look who it goddamn is. My men, son of a bitch. God damn it. Remix the OST. I will say the music's pretty great. The chip tunes and MIDI bits are uh, really sending me. Love shit like that. They eat people's souls. No, they eat dragon souls. It's different. Sosmo's former operatives. Yeah, I remember you assholes. Silent coup or whatever it is. Intruder detected. Might be silent ka. Turbulent Mai. I think that was also Sam Regal. That was the one that kind of was sounded and talked as if she was a woman, I think. Then they gave out pieces of his soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. All life forms confirmed as enemies. They got glowy red eyes. Is that relevant? Uh, it might be relevant. Raging Kesu. We or will secure target after all enemies are destroyed. And there's this fucker. Uh, heat wave sigh. Commencing assault. 
it is pretty cool, I will say, how this game is just, like, off the rip. It's like, hey, remember these guys? Go, go, go. It's like, damn, son. It's pretty cool, I won't lie, that, like, just all of a sudden these guys I know are hanging out. Where is... They're up there with a giant rat? Okay. There's also treasure chests, I see. Uh... Well, I mean, let's just focus on one, right, everyone? Uh... Fuck him up. Time stop, what the... Oh, they're looting! Ultra medicine was stolen. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Shoo, look! That fat rat stole the item from the treasure box! Shoo and everyone to nourish the shadows so he could regain his youth and take over the world. They steal treasure? Once an enemy steals an item, you'll never see it again. Oh. Super cool of them, thanks. Anyway, uh, sorry, I'm having to navigate the camera at, like, a rakish angle over here. Everyone whoop his ass. What can you do? You have gems? What is this? An emerald. Cool, what does emerald do? What does amethyst do? Just go for your claw attack, I guess. It is really cool, honestly, seeing the dragons on the DS. That's pretty rad. The little 3D models popping up behind them is uh, pretty cool. I won't lie. Reinforcements requested. Ah, fiddled sticks. List is still open, right? Certainly is. Has been for a while. Haven't really seen a need to close it yet. Shoo, Silent Coup's elemental weakness is fire. Oh, good. Use your flare sword skill. Can do. I notice he didn't use his flare sword skill. There we go. Ah! His weakness was fire. <laughs> apparently. That guy was heat wave. Well, apparently not. Hey, everyone, uh, go kick his ass. And you have a, a nice, tasty potion. God damn it. Someone's bombarding me from off screen. How dare they? Oh, you're here. Here I was going to go look for another member. Polite of you to join me. I didn't do anything, it looks like. And yet we felt the need to... Heatwave size elemental weakness is water! Shoo! Use your dragon's water sword skill! This makes me think of My Sims walking animation. I never got around to playing the My Sims games. Every good OST remix, they take two more steps back. Well, they can't all be, you know, winners. I appreciate that I can't hit my allies when I do that. Everyone go kill the giant rat. He's going after the treasure. Medicine, you son of a bitch. Murder this man. Yeah, if we could, you know, surround the guy, I think that would be... Oh, good. You're there. Everyone after him. The, the, her, the, him, the, whatever, go kill him. Shoo, maybe take a potion while you're here. Have you played My Sims Agents? I have not played any of the My Sims games. I know they exist. I thought they were kind of cute when I saw trailers for them. Uh, My Sims Agents, My Sims Kingdom. All that jazz. 
Oh, uh, fuck. Let's see what an emerald does, right? Oh, wind. Right. That's how that works. Reinforcements needed! Yeah, of course they are. Yeah, but they're all the way over there, so I'm not concerned. First My Sims game when you were a kid. Eh. Didn't play a single one. Maybe have a potion. Anyway, uh, last one is all the way over there. Good lord. All right, everyone, uh, go fight these guys, I guess. You know, it's an RTS, so I don't like it automatically. We're really 0 for 2 on games genres that I like. But I do got to say, this is at least kind of neat. It's different. Do I like it? Not really. Is it different? Certainly is. Can't fault them there. They didn't want to make just another blue dragon game, Shut I guess. Up and take my money. Oh Capsule god. Monster Coliseum. Capsule Monster Coliseum? Jesus Christ. I think that one is turn based. So, uh, isn't that Japanese only? Hey, I need to be able to read the fucking game, Nathan. Jiro check. Not yet, but the fucking these guys showed up. The old giant robots that gave me so much trouble. Had it on PS2? Alright, I'll play it on PS2 emulators then. Because Lord knows I'm not getting it for the original PS2. That's not happening. Well, I will say the game is easy so far. Haven't... I was concerned I might have to grind, which, you know, I don't even know how I would do that. It seems all very scripted. But, uh, you know, if I need to, I'll put in action replay codes, because, again, cheating is based. Sazbo to actually side with lowly humans. A disgrace. Weren't you all killed? Turbulent Mai. Yeah, it's those guys. Gah! Sazbo! Stop! What are you? And Heatwave Sai, who could forget. You know what we want. There's Turbulent Mai. We must become one. Oh, God, not that thing again. Into our ultimate form. For he who should rule us. Rule as? Rule up? Uh, fucking. The font is very hard to read. Why are we letting this happen? We're not very proactive. Fucking. This thing's back? Really? Motherfucker. This is a remix of the boss music. <laughs> Holy shit. They actually remixed this song. <laughs> All right, you know what? Still not going to play this because it's an RTS, but there is there's some cool stuff in this game. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was great. Stop! I no longer think like you. My loyalty now belongs to humans. Incomprehensible. Your thoughts are confused. It is unimportant. Take the light sphere. Lady Zola, shoo! Destroy me! Oh, that's pretty fucking dark. Something bad is happening. Destroy me while you can! a lot of remixes. Yeah, they remixed all the songs, it seems. Because, well, it's not like they could have the full-ass orchestral versions from the Xbox on the Nintendo DS. That's just not something the technology or speakers would allow. So they had to, like, put them all through MIDI and chiptune. Dragon Ball rules. We have to let the opponent finish their lengthy transformation. Well, yeah, obviously. Sazbo! We can't do that! Maru must save Sazbo! Probably, you know, go find Kluke and Jiro. Are we really fighting? Okay, yeah, defeat the ultimate Sazbo. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to real quick uh, save state right here. Don't mind me. You know, just figure I'd do that while I'm in the neighborhood.
didn't want him there. It's not that I didn't want him there. I just questioned why they brought him back before Clue and Jiro. Also, don't like that I'm surrounded. Magic girl rules. Yeah, exactly. You get it. But it is a remix of the boss music, and that is pretty fucking great. Live and love in a show in you what you can't see. Valid question. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, wait. He's dead already? Huh. That was easy. All right, then. Cool. Kind of thought he'd put up more of a fight than that based on, you know, the last game. What if I told you in the list of 16 playable characters, Jiro and Kluke weren't in that list? Oh, 7-9. You fucked up. 7-9 fucking dropped the ball on that one. Watch it! Sazbo isn't himself anymore. You're bullshitting? Oh, okay. Never mind, then. You're good, 7-9. You're good. What do we do now? Darn! Hurry! Destroy me now! We have to do it. You can't, Zola! But... That's a solid counter-argument. Enough. Ah! No, stop! Imagine knowing the game's your quest on the wheel. Yeah, couldn't be you. Silence! 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 Wow. Unanimous, that decision, I guess. Super no- Oh, God. Oh, my God! I just fucking ripped his heart out! What the fuck, dude? It's actually kind of grim. He had, like, what, a morality core? Oh, this could be unfortunate. Blue Dragon 3. Good thing you didn't request it. You just highlighted that. No! Zazbo! Oh, no. Mission accomplished. Well, schnikes. And all they left us was his... Dying heart. That component, Sazbo stopped moving after they ripped it out. Well, no, he did, but he stopped moving on his own. It's Sazbo's soul. Soul? The equivalent of a soul. But with it out of him, he's as good as dead. He becomes just a machine. Well, that's getting not a good sign. No! All right. Lot, lot to save, huh? You just, okay. Took a while, but got there. <clears throat> Meanwhile, be sure to watch the screen under. Oh my God! Look who it is. Be sure to watch the screen underneath me for what's going on, because again, the action, oh god, action's on the bottom screen here, but the cutscenes are on the top screen. He had a Revita chamber this whole time? Wow, they really did just fucking Kingdom Hearts this shit, didn't they? If you had the Revita chamber, what'd you need me for in the last game? Blue Dragon 3 is described as an action RPG with real-time combat. Wow, so we're not playing it. Good to know. Your Excellency! Nene, a surviving agent who awoke from his frozen sleep. He tricked Shu and his friends into swallowing his soul. He was dreaming of one day recreating the world and to sit on the throne as king. He was later defeated by Shu and his friends. That's more or less how I remember it. Ah, Zazbo, you've returned! I have brought back your excellency's soul as well. 
Glad to know once they ripped out Sazbo's soul, he was all caught up on the plan. Yes, I see at last. Wow, we really just... How did we follow them, per se? I thought they, like, warped out of there. So they've arrived. Sazbo! What the... Wow, they really just said, hey, one year later, uh, shit's the same as the end of the last game. Ultimate fucking Sazbo robot. Uh, Nene's young and looking pretty fucking hot. Have at it. You're just minus, you know, Kluke and Jiro. Don't know why, but, you know, fuck him, I guess. Imagine if that, like, killed him. <laughs> Short game. It's been a while, humans. Final boss status, indeed. You didn't really believe you could do away with me that easily. Didn't your shoulder gremlin fucking kill you? The Light Sphere. Sazbo, move! His Excellency will return to power. You will not interfere! Well, I mean, he did tell you destroy him before he did something like this. Just saying. Sazbo, there has to be another way! Do we really have to fight? Beginning it, well, that seems like a yes. I'm no expert, but that really does seem like yes. Begin attack. Oops. Shoo, Madarame, look! What is that? It's a healing station. Stay close to it and your HP will be replenished. Nice. Let's use it wisely. Gotcha. But the enemy will try to destroy it, so watch out. Gotcha. All right. I can do that. Probably going to have to sacrifice one or two here. They gave me strats of how to, like, you know, handle people, and it seems like the idea is just, you know, stay together and fucking gangbusters everyone. Yeah, there they go. Yeah, start beating these guys up. Protect the healing statue. Yeah, actually, get it. Get, fight the poo snakes. They're trying to break the damn statue. Get in there and fight the poo snakes. I wish the game stayed on Xbox, kept the original gameplay style. Microsoft tried to get into the JRPG market with this and, um,. Uh, one other thing that was called, uh, Lost Prophecy, I think? It was something like that. Final Prophecy? Forgotten Prophecy? Eh. Lost Kingdom? It was something like that. And, uh, they didn't do very well. The people that played them beloved them, but they did not sell very well, so they kind of just kicked them to the curb. Uh, Blue Dragon, I guess, did well enough or had enough of a name power behind it that Nintendo picked it up for two more games. You're lucky indeed! You will witness my return to power. No! Well, well put, Shu. So what was the point of that? I just... Alright. Just kind of walked up and he did that anyway. Helped that out in company anime. Yeah, that would do it. Oh, he's got the... Red bat version thing. Feel love in your eye, show it all up with our fire. Zola, my soul is returned. The very soul that you carried for me. So did I lose it, or is there a copy? The very soul that was defeated by you all. The pain was beyond imagining. Good thing I had this machine that revived me that I never mentioned in the previous outing. The pain in my rage. The fear and love in my eye. That's not his usual shadow. No, sir. Now feel my wrath. My god. It's just like Lady Zola's. It's not a chimera. I see. That was only the half I threw away. Which means he is still not fully powered. Which means we can beat him. 
by just fucking going hog wild on him, I guess. Yeah, kill these guys that are fucking up the healing crystal, please. I need that, thank you. Oh god damn it. They just they have no autonomy either. They just fucking go. They're up there. Feel like, you know, we should probably clean these guys out. And yeah, now we're all hanging out here somewhat awkwardly. Does anyone have any ranged attacks? That would be nice. Maybe we'll get, like, an archer at some point. Because that would be pretty nice. Just to notice how big his head is. Hey! I'm very sensitive about it, please. Also, I have a name. Free birthday game request? No. Your gift was I'm not mean to you. Today. Anymore. Besides, we're spinning the wheel at the end of this anyway, so it's entirely possible Porsche will get spun. You never know. But I do need to make sure I add fucking whatever the fuck Nathan requested. Charles Barkley shut up and jam or whatever it was. I can go back and see what it was. Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. Right, of course. I went back and looked at what it was. Pretty sure it was hooked on phonics. What? The fucking... Yeah, dude. Yo, Nathan requested Reading Rabbit Escape from Castles or whatever the fuck that game was where he plays the lion that had to type sentences. Big shout out to Reader Rabbit. Your Excellency, my apologies. I can no longer fight. Request Clue Finders next. Fuck yeah, Clue Finders. They have a website, you know. Wait, Sasbo! There he goes. Alright, uh, now let's beat up the old man, shall we? Can he, like, fucking. Hold on. Th this isn't gonna work. Can he, can he come, like, come down the stairs or. Huh. No, huh? All right. Well, hey, first of all, everyone, step over here. Uh, you, I guess, take a potion. I gotta be honest, uh, as far as RTSs go, this isn't great. <laughs> this, uh, this definitely leaves a little bit to be desired. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> Even within RTS world. Quit highlighting your messages like they're game requests. That's not how it works. April Fool's Day, play a typing game kid stream. Ooh, that's a good idea. I've been thinking about what to do for April Fool's Day. The fuck is this? Thought we were doing Blue Dragon 2, not Mega Man knockoff. No, but turns out Blue Dragon 2 is an RTS. And uh, as a result, it's getting one stream. You are still flawed. Who dares? What the fuck? So what the fuck is this chamber behind you? Is it here to kill you or revive you? An RTS? I know. Very bare bones one, it seems, as well. But the point is we're not playing it. Doing one stream and then we're spinning the wheel. What the? A noxious energy is being injected out of the... It's called electricity, alright? Shut up, woman. Okay, they're all just side set, uh... They all just side set to, to think of a plan to fight him. Yeah, he just didn't leave, so I was like, oh, fuck, everyone walk away, let's heal up, and go beat him up a bit. Random type of shit, RTS. Indeed. Now's our chance. Stands for real-time strategy. No, shoo! He's right there! How can we let him go? What's the plot of this game? It's been one year, and, uh, Nene's back. 
don't don't worry about it. They basically said, uh, yeah, one year later, everything you were doing is just it's the same at the end of the last game. But it is a direct sequel. We must disengage. There's Nene being vored by a robot. So, you know, you're caught up. You want to run away? Listen to me. We must wait for the next opportunity. But I don't know if there will be a next opportunity. The noxious energy attacks. All skills have been locked. Well, that's not good. Yeah, well, everyone, hey, get out of the fucking... And we're all dead. That's enough. Maro needs to warp. Yeah, no, I didn't think that was going to work. What's a Jiro? Is that a Greek wrap? I hear they're tasty. <laughs> What's going on? I won't give up. Shoo! That one time, it was the first time I gave up and ran. Even though I always told myself I won't give up. But I think I saw a glimmer of something really important. Shout out to the hyper-compressed Xbox cutscene. Running isn't always bad. Especially if it's to protect those that are precious to you. I realize that now. Cool math games. I could do Master Blaster on April Fool's Day. We're back to when Shu gave up and ran. Nene, who's Nene? He was the boss of the last game. Baldi, yeah, like the purple piccolo or whatever. I want to take over the world with the pet monster. Yeah, uh, oh, it would be the Baldi, not the, not the shoulder gremlin. I'll do it. It seems as though we've forgotten about the shoulder gremlin thing. Maybe. I have no idea what the robot's doing to Nene. It appears to be having his way with him. PG stream, by the way. Oh, good. Mission cleared. Yep, that's a great sign to put over this image. Feel like I've accomplished something. Yep. Cool. Can't wait for Valentine's Day when we visit Moss Deep White Rock. That's true. We got to play uh, next Valentine's Day. Got to play more Moemon. Fuck, I don't remember where I am in that. I'll be honest with you. It's been a hot minute. We are before the Moss Deep White Rock. That's like the first 80% of the game. So not helpful, actually. Meanwhile... And that's all I have to report. Though it was far from a thorough investigation, I'm afraid. I believe we have failed. Do not blame yourself. Who can imagine Nene coming back to life? Apparently the sequel writers. Yes, but we lost Sazbo. Token lad isn't paying attention. Well, I've got to read, don't I? It's Ellie's birthday. I understand that. Same Presser Birch from Wild Pokemon. Yeah, okay. That's like 99% of the game you've described. Ah oh yes, allow me to think on this. Though by the looks of it, time has become a luxury. Somehow, Nene returned. Ah yes, somehow he returned. Yes, sir. Didn't tell her happy birthday. I told her happy birthday on some server we're on. We sh we're in two of them. I used to be part of this insane gay kids factory cult thing. And then fucking Nathan, own name, and Ellie showed up, and now it's all ruined. Unbelievable. The... This... What? Unit? Contains the whole of Sazbo's soul. The font is such a terrible choice. I look forward to seeing him as a loyal friend again. You could just put that in a new, like, robot, couldn't you? Like, an even better one. It's straight. Nene the Pink Piccolo pulled a Palpatine and is terrorizing the world. Yeah, but it also looks like the machine that revived him turned on him and is making him like a mind slave. So, you know. You guys have a cult? No, PK has a cult. Keep up. King Jabroni. Shoo, Madarame, welcome back. 
Just needed to talk to you for a minute. Maru found this. What is that? Fucking, we're all on the edge of our seats over here. That's what people in cults say, Ellie. You found a cube? What? That was a blink and you'll miss it. It looks just like that cube we investigated. It just keeps on glowing. Yeah, it's because you don't have it in power saving mode. Oh, is it them? It's Kluke and Jiro and the old guy. Grandpa. They're here. Fashira. Sure. Shu, Matarame told me you went off on an adventure without us. Yeah, I, I did that already, Grandpa. It's, that was the last game. It was the help of Jiro and his girl. Well, there it is. Fushira, a uh, blacksmith of Talta Village and Shu's grandfather. He's been Shu's guardian since the death of Shu's parents. Although he was a bit worried when Shu went off to fight Nene, he's secretly jealous of his adventure as well. Old man, if I'm off on an adventure, you don't have to worry about me. Go fucking have your own adventure, man. What are we doing? Highest physical attack, wow, and skill boot, and has a skill that boosts a unit's power. He has the highest physical attack, guys. This old guy. Use the beef up skill to double the physical attack of Fushira for three attacks and inflict extra damage on enemies. Though his attack is high, his defense is low. Ah, and he can be easily KO'd. Equip accessories to broaden his attack range and try and steer clear of enemy attacks. Once he learns strength, cast it on Matarame and Shu to increase the power of their attacks making Fushira a useful support unit as well. Does he have a shadow? No, he has a hammer. It's almost as good. Ah, sorry. Maru spilled the beans. Hold on a minute. It wasn't an adventure. It was an investigation. There's Kluk! Still. Wow, fucking 7-9 is edging right now. Jiro has still to appear on screen in sprite form and have the little backstory blurb. Why didn't you take us with you? Fucking weird drawing. Raised in Talta Village, childhood friend of Shu and Jiro lost her parents two years ago to Nene's campaign of wanton destruction. She swallowed a light sphere with Shu and Jiro, giving her the power to control her Phoenix Shadow. Dreams of becoming a doctor like her parents one day. Kluke has powerful magic and defense, but low physical attack and defense. Uh, she will learn elemental magic as she levels up. Uh, draw enemies to her and destroy them with powerful magic. Why would I do that? You just said she has bad physical defense. Clearly, I want to keep her as far away from enemies as I can while damaging them with ranged attacks. Who was our damage dealer? Yeah, she was black magic, you know? That, uh, that trope. Always consider the elemental weakness of enemies when using skills. Teaming her with King Jabral, I guess I play as him as well, to enhance her defense as well as Jiro to heal her uh, are also useful tactics. Well, guess who it is? It's, wow, he looks terrible. Don't get me wrong, the sprites, sprites in this game uh, are clearly just ripped from the Xbox and, like, stripped down to incredibly low-res versions. It looks like Jiro got the worst of it. He's just about to roll over and die. Said uh, that his much healthier and stronger Grankin is adventuring without him while sounding offended. Top-notch storytelling right there. Indeed! Big head. Again, I have a name. Unbelievable. We weren't sneaking around. Jesus Christ, what did they do to Jiro? What the fuck? Why does he look like a 40-year-old man? What happened? That's our boy you just fucking murdered in the little sprite artwork there. Jesus. A native of Talta Village and a childhood friend of Shu and Kluke. An avid strategist who analyzes every situation, unlike Shu, who usually rushes into situations without thinking, uses the Minotaur Shadow. Jiro has strong magic attacks and defense, but low physical attack and defense. He will learn healing skills and revive skills as he levels up. Team up with a weaker ally uh, and have him ready to heal at all times. Once he learns the skill, regenerate, make sure to use when necessary. As long as weaker allies stay close to Jiro, they'll have nothing to worry about. God, now I'm going to have to strategize instead of just sending people in to kick the crap out of people and drink potions. Tell you the truth, I'm getting a bit bored. What do you mean? Jiro calls it being an adrenaline junkie. What are you, sick or something? 
No, I just miss all the excitement. You know, the danger, the thrills, the chicks, bro. I'm happy the world is finally at peace and all, but I guess I miss the fun and excitement of all our adventures. You know, the near-death experiences, the time Kluke had an explosive collar put on her, or we went to that ghost town full of people that were trapped. Happy times, the snow village where they all shattered. Remember that? Great stuff. Defense of the devs, Jiro looked like an old man in the first one. Yeah, not quite that bad, though. Send Jiro and Kluke to the front lines and slap robots. No. wonder if there will be a limit to the amount of characters you can have in your party at once. If I'm having to control 16 people, this stream is like 10 minutes. How long am I into this? I'm already an hour in. All right. Wow, Jiro, you're getting kind of reckless. Shoo, next time, take me with you as well. The limit's probably four or five. Maybe six. Grandpa, you too? Why? <laughs> Watch this! Oh! He has a vial plume. When did that happen? Yeah, how did, when the fuck did you get a vial plume? Not really sure. But I have no problems controlling it. Hey, don't worry about it. Guys, it's t it's totally cool. Remember how we established they got shadows last game? <laughs> Fuck that noise. Ah, just give them out now. <laughs> give them away. Everyone has a ray of light in their soul. No, that's a shadow. That's the opposite of what the... Okay. I guess it just happens spontaneously. Yep, it just happens. Don't worry about it. I've been keeping it a secret. <laughs> Oh, do tell. What is it you've been keeping a secret, King Gibral? <laughs> Guys, now that we're all here and sharing, I've got, like, some weird-ass fucking derpy-ass dragon thing. Looks like Mushu from Mulan, but blue and hooved. King Gibral boosts, boasts the highest defense and HP of all the character units. Normally, you need to, like, grind or work for that. He's best utilized as a shield protecting weaker units. Uh, his skill Iron Wall is very effective for defensive line. Also useful when he is used as a decoy drawing enemy attention. A seahorse dragon? It kind of looks like it. Having him act as a wall between ally and the enemy uh, as they charge up is also a useful tactic. This unit can fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with enemies. They're mainly physical attackers, so utilize his strength to block off enemies. Be careful of magic attacks and his magic defense is on the low side. Looks like combo of unicorn, a dragon, and a wolf. Well, I mean, uh, I would say a whore. A unicorn would have hooves, surely, right? So, I mean, the mouth is kind of wolfish, though. And a, a wolf wouldn't have hooves. I don't know why I assumed you're referring to the hooves when you said wolf. Shout out to his wings clipping into the back of the fucking building there. Awesome, high-quality sequel from Nintendo, by the way. Cool! Ha-ha! How do you like them apples? Ah, oh, you know, they just had those the whole time, guys. Don't worry about it. They just kept it a secret. You know, now that it's a sequel, they can tell you. Please, just because you can use a shadow. We can all use them, you know. Don't forget, I'm the only one who can heal you guys. <laughs> Fucking... Who who else can I remember from this game? From Blue Dragon. Who's The Poo Snake runs in. <laughs> Did someone say healing? And out pops angel wings or some shit. I don't fucking know. Who do you think has the strongest magic attacks? Here we go again. Another shadow boast fest. I don't I don't recall that being a thing. Well then, I guess we're all adrenaline junkies here. The more the merrier. Yo, he said it. His classic catchphrase. Hey Jiro, do you know what this is? Huh, looks like it might be a radar of some sort. Radar? But what do all these lights represent? Are we really going to go looking for the Dragon Balls? Because I swear to God. The lights at the top just got bigger. Dragon Radar. Yep, collecting Dragon Balls, baby. So the whole game's in the cube, huh? That's, that's what I'm picking up here? Because that's lame. Part of what I liked about Blue Dragon was traveling the world. And, uh... Yeah, if we're just in the cube the whole time, that's super lame. What the? Very 
Very ambitious with all the cutscenes. I gotta give him that. Huh. Oh my god. Oh wow. Just in the throne room, this guy, huh? Well, he's fucked. Fear and love, love and fire, Alright, well then. Oh, I brought friends. Not that guy again. Looks like the same mecha robo from before. Last time we couldn't finish him off, but this time we'll make sure we do. I brought ghosts? He has other allies, it seems. Those look like ghost type monsters. They have no substance, so physical attacks won't work. Make sure to use skills. Yeah, I recall that to an extent. On oh, the fire and ice wolf. Yeah, I remember them from the uh, the hospital or whatever it was. Those are ice and fire type monsters. They formed like a boss together, right? They fused or something. Use opposing element skills on the monsters to inflict greater damage. And who's the only one who can use both skills? Your, I think Shu can as well, actually. Wow, Kluk is the strongest? But I'm not very tough, so I need someone to cover me. You got it. I can leave Nigeros made an appearance. Or, you know, you could stay and watch, hang out, have fun. Keep us all company. That'd be nice, right? Let's do it, guys. Defeat the Sentinel. You lose if the party's defeated. Oh, of course. You made me play this fucking game. Yeah, it's just going to leave me high and dry, huh? Oh, my God, they're coming. I mean, there's some logic in just letting them come to me, right? Like... Anyway, uh... Everyone. Group together and, uh... Gonna wait for them to come up the stairs. Okay, kick that one's ass. Kick that guy's ass, everyone. Beat the crap out of him. Yeah, I'm fine with you just beating the crap out of everyone individually, sure. That works. It is really just a fucking shit show at this point. The the lack of autonomy by any of them really also fucking cheeses me off. They get done killing a guy and they're like, oh well, better fucking stop moving. Ah, uh, he just boosts physical attacks. It's not gonna work. I gotta use skills on these guys. Now seen half the playable characters. Wow. Only 15 hours this game, huh? Kind of wish it didn't go in order every damn time. Uh, that's cure. Never mind that. Your heal. Cure and heal, huh? All right. Good stuff. When are some of the other characters? Uh, as it's a real weir weird list. Well, we're not going to be here, so. Yeah, hit me with them. Why not? Share with me the bizarre cast of characters that is this game. Nene is a playable character at some point. Is that like, you know, a post-game thing or Oh, you need a you need a potion. Good thing I just loot potions from people, and there's also like no time limit at all. So I can just whoop their asses and be like, oh well, I beat everyone. Uh coming for you, bitch.
Doesn't say there's also a relative of Nene as a player character. That's curious. All right, let's wait for everyone to get into position. Just hanging out, having a time. All right, yeah, we're all here. Be right there, guys. Two of Maru Maru's siblings are also playable. Good lord. Should probably heal up, you know, just take some meds. And, uh... You get in there. Uh, you... Follow suit, like, right there. Uh, you get down there. You as well get down there. Oh. We're in the thick of it now. The medic used its remaining energy to call for help. Oh no! Reinforcements of the army! Why are these guys always just hiding in the goddamn shadows, I swear. Alright, hey everyone, just get the fuck in there. Who cares at this point? Everyone beat everyone else up. Just do it. You see somebody that isn't on your side, fucking take a swing at him. That's how we're operating now. The medic used its remaining energy to call for help. Again? Fucking medic, really? Oh my god, oh, well, they're gonna be more focused on stealing shit. Well, that's that. <laughs> what a fucking story so far. Hey, you know how those guys had, you know, dragon souls and shit because they ate orbs and it was all a plot to, you know... Strengthen the pieces of his soul so he could reclaim them. Turns out everyone has one of those. Don't worry about it. That's just a thing you can have. I got red bombs and blue bombs and a magic quartz band. Cool. Everyone leveled up. It's re the uh the depressed orphan girl I hated. Oh. Yasato, who was the friendly robot in the town of robots who came across. Oh, yeah. And Tropius, the uh, weird dinosaur Pokemon with the green leaves uh, that you paid with metals. Oh, yeah, Tropius. Love that guy. Weird he's in this game, but I mean, I guess it makes sense. Nintendo and everything. God damn it! Couldn't have left through the hole you made in the roof, you son of a bitch. Now I gotta fix two holes. Might as well get a new roof. This guy, he's just wrecking everything. Outrageous. Ah. Unbelievable. <laughs> great, great shot. Really liking my decision to put the bottom screen as the main one. Getting a lot of crotch shots here. But, I mean, it's where the action is. Is everyone okay? Yeah. How could this? I can't believe it. Oh, no! Neo-Gibral City. Gibral? Neo-Liberal City. I choose to pronounce the J as an L. I mean, people on the other side of the cube aren't going to even notice that. It'll be fine. I don't know if destroyed is fair. It's still pretty intact there, Jiro. That's destroyed is some strong language. Wait a minute. Maybe that radar. That doesn't look any different. The big light on the radar. This must represent a bomb threat. What? What? Sorry, what about this makes you think it's a bomb threat? The last guy that showed up just wrecked the place. 
and then, like, crashed into some shit. What? These lights are all mecha robos. The big light shows the ones carrying the bombs. Again, a stretch. Also really weird that there's just a radar for that. They're starting to move up. Mm. So it wasn't Nene. How do you figure? Yeah. Nene? He's still alive, by the way. No way. It can't be. We... We actually fought him. He swallowed a light sphere, and now he controls a shadow. Luckily, it looks pretty weak for the moment. So we didn't finish him off. What was he trying to do? Get revenge. He is now filled even more with anger and hate. I think it's probably the same amount, just, you know, directed somewhat differently. The Eternal Engine took him somewhere. Yep. He's probably trying to regain his full powers. We have to stay alert. Nene and the bombs, two big problems. We'll have to leave Nene out of the equation for now and concentrate on those bombs. You're right. If any of those mecha robos make it up here, this whole world will be destroyed. We must head for the cube. Yes. As those who wield shadows, we have no choice. I'll go too. Me too. I wouldn't miss this either. Thank you all. We shall take the land shark. Hey, the land shark to the cave, to the cube. Good old cube. Praise the cube, everyone. All right, then. What is this? Oh. All right, then. Wondered where the options might be. Ah, the land shark. Witness it not being on land. There's our boy. Zola, the hole we used before has been sealed up. Must be the Mecha Robos from before. <laughs> Forgot about the doofy teeth on the thing. We should get going. This is not what the Land Shark looked like. We don't, at, uh, at least on the inside, we don't know when those lights will begin moving. But the entrance is gone. Jiro, do you have any ideas? I'll need to get a detailed analysis of the situation before creating a strategy. Still the careful thinker, eh, Jiro? I don't remember him being that careful of a thinker. Yeah, it was always Kluke being like, fucking get out of the way, we gotta do shit. We don't need a plan. If there's no way in, we'll just have to make an entrance. Oh my god. What a rebel, what a loose cannon. Are you serious? Is why his chief fired him that one time. Shoo, that's crazy. What if we can't get through the wall? The land shark can do it? And you're basing that off of what exactly? Well, I mean, it's pretty fucking heavy. Don't worry about it. This is the fastest way. Here we go. What if there's mini games in this like there were in the other one? Everyone hold on. Lady Zola. Ah, oh, for God's sakes. What? Matarame, why are you holding on to Zola? Ah! Oh, shoo. <laughs> well, I mean, he did it. And we're all alive. So, you know. <laughs> See, it worked! Shoo. Do you ever think, what if? You wouldn't be able to do anything if you think of the what-ifs. You haven't changed at all, have you? I assume you've been hanging out, so yeah, no, why would... Zola is a pretty lady. It's true. We stand, we stand all women around here, especially attractive women like Zola. And, you know, well, all women in general, but especially 2D waifus. Especially them. Put it that way. 
Gotta stand the waifus. Stop it, both of you. If you're gonna fight, do it out there. Where we are out here, what do you mean? What? Like, not in the cube? What are you... Come on, Kluke, this isn't anything new. You stupid bitch. Hey, the radar. We must make haste. If we let even one of those mecha robos go out, the damage will be far too great. Right, we need to stop them here. Leave it tomorrow. I wonder why the devs went from good JRPG to RTS. I mean, I guess Nintendo bought the rights to the game and said, hey, it's going to be on the DS. Really want you using the DS. It's this or the Wii. And they were like, you know what? Maybe the DS is the way to go. It's a portable warp device. If we're defeated by an enemy, we can warp back here and regain our wits. That's nice. If your party is defeated in battle, you'll automatically return to this area. Fight wisely. Save state. Got it. Let's go. Just off the rip, huh? There they are. A welcome party. Here we go, Shu. Let's show them who's boss. You got it. All right, then. Defeat all enemies. I should probably loot some chests, you know, get some get some gear or figure out how to equip gear. Oh, Jesus. Why is the fucking room so big? Where am I even trying to get to? Holy crap. A big room. Big, dumb, stupid room, and none of you have autonomy. Ugh, it's the worst. I take it I can click that, and I can... Oh, I can... Oh, I, I see what it is. Be like, all, and then click on a spot, and then they'll focus on that. Or I can just circle enemies, and they'll focus on that. Interesting. That'll work. Hey, you. Uh, heal up. I see you dying over there. Maybe it was a trend thing. Were there a lot of RTSs out at this time? Can't say I recall that. I got, the, I got the two I wanted in there. Maru, get the treasure chest, you know, while we're here. To open this chest, you need a key of the same color. Oh, bite my ass. Come back to this area once you have the key in your possession. Absolute disgrace. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, everyone. Go fight them. Get the two fire dogs in that. Definitely getting one. Ah, I only got the one. Darn.
Ah, it heals a bunch in a group. Go for it. Does heal restore health or does cure restore health? That's the immortal... Okay, heal restores health. The immortal question, isn't it? Well, that was everyone in that group. Uh, phew. Yet more enemies over here, so I guess we're headed that way. And some people think the bright idea is to go this way, huh? All right, Madarame, have fun with that over there. Everyone, everyone else, uh, stick together as best we can. Look, I need you to get close to Kluke. Kluke, stop walking the fuck away from Jira. What's your problem? Unbelievable. All right, everyone, beat up the weird parrot dinosaur thing. Jiro has a bow and arrow, actually. Did he have one? I thought he had, like, a knife in the last game. When was the last time he played an RTS before this one? Uh... Uh, tried one of the Warhammer games. Warhammer 40k, Dawn of something or other. That was a while ago. I was in Radford. Played it and was like, oh, I hate this. Right, I forgot. Thought maybe my tastes changed. This gameplay is painful to watch. Hey, look. I'm winning. Alright? I don't know what makes you think it's so painful. I'm doing my best. Everyone's leveling up, see? It's going great. Okay, guys. Let's head down to the lower levels. Winning an RTS is suck ass. Ah. It's very bare bones for an RTS. Which is to say, yeah, they all have... First of all, it's not great the way you, like, have to select them and then their abilities and keep track of everything. More importantly, um, it seems like you can just have everyone kind of gang up on a couple people and you'll be fine. As long as you remember to have Jiro heal and drink some health potions. Which they give you just by beating people up, so... Uh, the adventure has begun! Unravel the mystery of the Atomic Cube. A battle will start once you meet an enemy in the Rotate map. Equip accessories and set skills and items to get ready for battle. Oh, God. Well, here we have it. Uh, how do I... Is it info? How do I equip shit? Well, there's an enemy. Uh, skill? Knock enemies to situated direction below on route map. Scouts the road map and gathers intel on enemies. How do I equip you guys? It just said... Make sure you equip shit. Is it in menu? Okay, there we go. Equip. Thank you. Jesus. Oh, God. Uh, the, uh, the fucking... The sprite work down below is, um... 
a little wanting, let's say. All right, what have I got? I got Magic Quartz Hoop Earrings, which will boost his HP and range. Magic Quartz Band, which boosts attack and magic attack. Magic Quartz Turquoise, which boosts defense and magic defense. And a Magic Quartz Ring, which boosts attack speed and magic speed. Well. Is that just, I have one total for everyone? Yeah, I got one total for everyone I can equip. I mean, I guess I'll equip this shit to Shu since he's, you know, like, the main guy, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is definitely, it feels like they stripped away a lot of the mechanics of the, uh, the previous game just to make this work, and it's like, you could have just made a, another JRPG, right? Like, you, did, you didn't need to do this. The road splits in two different routes here. So it does. A one to the left, and a one to the right. Oh my god, dinosaur soldiers! And on the other path, the elemental dogs. I'd rather deal with the dinosaur soldiers, honestly. And spearing from both routes, we must stop them all. Uh, of course we do. Why just beat one group of enemies and, you know, be done with it? Right? No. Open that for me. Uh, the rest of you. You what? Uh, attack! Jiro will catch up. Jiro will catch up, obviously. Uh, Shu, actually. Shu's gonna catch up right goddamn now. If he can believe it. A lot of enemies in this fire. That's like four enemies in the fire. Solid damage. Oh, God, they can't walk through each other? Oh, that's awful. That fucking sucks, dude. They can't just walk through each other. That's so annoying. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Uh, Just walk right there. Jiro, you're the healer. I swear to God, get in the middle of everybody. Is there any possible way I can just tell you stay in the fucking middle of the party so that when I cast a heal spell, it hits as many people as it can? That'll do, I guess. Time to split the party, because that always goes well. Well, I figured he'd open the chest and then just catch up with everybody, you know? I feel like you can split the party, you know, one guy to open a chest for five seconds while the other nine, you know, give him the business. That'll probably be fine, right? More so meant with the split paths cutscene. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> okay. What was the enemy that, like, was super hard to kill but dropped a ton of experience? I'm blanking on it all of a sudden. Just everyone go give him the business. The poo snake. No, 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 no. There was like a cave full of them. Like frogs. They could turn you into frogs or something.
You know, the ones referring to can't remember the names. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to be in this game, is all I was really thinking. Oh, he's asleep. Oh, God. Where's Jiro? Wake up, Maru. And you, drink a damn potion. I say it every time. I try water found. It's good advice. Stay hydrated, everyone. Try water. I know I say it every time, but, like, it is really just the complete lack of, you know, we've killed somebody, now we're just going to stand here and take no efforts to, you know, pick the closest enemy and start fighting them is really jarring, and I do not care for it. We rolling the wheel again today? Oh, 100%. We're not doing more than one stream of this. No, sir. Look what I'm playing. That's not happening. I will say, though, it does seem like they've eliminated the need to grind, since, you know, it's just to have everyone go gangbusters on everybody. Yo, if me and my eight friends showed up to a fight to kick a skeleton's ass, I'd probably walk away smelling like daisies, too. What are you gonna do? You're one skeleton versus me and my eight friends. We brought 30 pints of whiskey to slug back when we're getting injured. We also have magic powers that we sometimes use if we remember to. It's like the second wheel roll in as many days. Yeah, no, it's been a good week for the wheel. Jiro is dying over there, though, so, uh... How about you heal everyone there, Jiro boy? It also doesn't seem like mana's a thing, so... That's pretty cool. It's just on a timer-based system. I can also just hang out here while there's enemies waiting patiently for me. Super, super polite of them. Alright, Jiro, uh, hmm. Looking a little, uh, looking a little green around the gills there, Jiro, my boy. So how's about you stand right there with our ample free time and just heal everyone who's looking a little bit rusty? There's not, like, a timer or anything, either. There's, like, no challenge to this game. It's just, you know, can you manage your party somewhat efficiently? Mega medicine. Oh, boy. And we found a medal, everyone. Actually, everyone get in on that. Uh, Kluk, open that chest. Oh, God. Right, now you... No, you get the fuck out. You, get in there. Kluke, please. I was trying to do, like, a big old ring of magic, and then I realized, nah, actually, we're fine. <laughs> we're totally fine. Do 
People target Jiro a lot. It's interesting. Targeting, um... Zula, I get. She's way fast and gets there super quickly. But, like, why Jiro? He's the healer. Surely, you know, Maru and Shu and Jabral and everyone else would be a bigger target, but... Eh, I guess not. We're all learning new skills. Ranking up, leveling up. Hell yeah. He's a healer. I mean, I it's strategically, I suppose that makes sense. That should do it. Now what? We'll have to separate into two parties. Why? Why not just go one route? Shu, you will come with me. That seems like a dumb idea. What about the rest? Zola, can you lead the other party? Yes, your majesty. Maru goes with Lady Zola. Look, you guys, one of the lights on the radar is closing in. Oh, well, time for a boss fight, I guess. So it is. It's getting a little bit higher. It's running hot, baby. I guess this is it, is it? I mean, we're just fighting the robot. We've done it before, actually, so... I didn't save. Ah, I'm just gonna save state right there. Move to party. Which party? All right, hold on. Okay, so the party is that one. Uh, you back the fuck up. All right, so. Uh, I mean, I guess you're big defensive guy. You're actually going two. Uh, you can go to one, I guess. Someone's gonna have a fourth person, mainly a damage dealer. I guess you'll go to one. Eh, you'll go to two. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Uh... Oh, just get everyone there. Nope. Uh, go to two, and you go to two. Makes sense to me. Chosen the party. Playing Beacon Pines. I don't know what that is. The shops can be accessed in a, if a mecha robo is in the same area as your party. Is there one? I guess not. Branch point. Uh, well, move. Guess that way. Royal tomb. Eh, fuck that. What's the other way? Uh, laboratory. Sure. This, uh, this sure is a game. Oh dear. I'm probably gonna go for about another half hour here and then we'll just spin the wheel. Because uh, I am definitely not feeling it with this game. This can't be! It is Ellie's birthday. Happy birthday, Ellie, once again. Wow, these are all destroys. Ew. The ultimate biomechanical weapon. Destroy was responsible for the destruction of the ancient civilization. He betrayed Nene at the last minute. Oh, the shoulder guy, right. Swallowing his light sphere. Was finally defeated by Shu and the gang. Yeah, I remember them. Are they dead? No, they're asleep. Destroy is the final biochemical warrior. Can it be that there are more than one? If these all go out, Maru's world would be destroyed. Luckily, they're still dormant. Maru will destroy the destroys. Right. Good luck with that, Maru. Stop, they may wake up. Madarame, our mission is to stop the bomb, so let's hurry. Okay.
No, oh my God. Weird that none of them noticed this, you know, with the flashing red light. No, okay, so I was going to say, seems like they would have caught that. No! Ah, what's that noise? Oh, it's just these guys. Okay. <laughs> we'll fight them here. Okay. Defeat all enemies. The party's defeated. Yep. Obviously. All right, everyone. Uh, Jiro, please. Get in there. They might need support. Yeah, it's like crazy. As soon as Jiro showed up, the robot turned to look at him, even though the other two were busy beating the crap out of him. And doing a much more efficient job, I might add. Oh yeah, here they are. These fuckers. I remember you boys. It's the weird frog things with the helmets. And some jellyfish. Some units can walk in water. Okay. By equipping special equipment, that is what you do with equipment, or casting spells, even Zola can walk on water. Even Zola, guys. Not any of the rest of the party, but even Zola can walk on water. Distant relative of Jesus, that one. Oh god, more coming. Heavens to Murgatroyd. If only there were, like, any stakes in this battle. Yeah, everyone kill the guy. Thank you. He's right there. Just kind of waiting to get smashed by you, the squad. <sighs> now you stand there. Thank you. Jiro, heal everyone. Like, if we had to protect something, maybe this would be, you know, an alright system. Oh, I can't even walk in the water. Huh. As is, it's like, what the fuck are we doing here, guys? Like, why, why have this? I'm just slowly working my way around the room, murdering the hell out of people. With no sense of urgency. I don't think man is a thing in this game. So it's just a timer of when I can, you know, cast my spells to heal myself and undo any adverse effects that may have occurred during a fight. Oh, let's see what this new one is. Uh, Oots, Oots, 
it's a semi. Sure, go for it. That's just a multi-slashy attack thing. Sure, heal up. This lizard's trying desperately to, like, maneuver around to Jiro, I think. It's like, ah, it's not working, homie. Sorry, dude. Oh, and this guy all by himself. <laughs> Again, sorry, my dude. You, uh... It's gonna be a bad day for you. What is it? Oh, he has Meditate. I'll be damned. Look at him go. They even gave him Meditate. And counterattack, because I think he's a monk originally. No idea what the grandpa was. He wasn't a playable character originally, is what you know that amounts to. Alrighty, uh, everyone, make your way over here. Roll out, you know what? I'm gonna speed this up a little. Look at him go. Look at them boogie. Oh shit! Wait, uh, everyone, kill kill them. Never mind. We've we found the enemy. They came to us somewhat fortunately. How much this game is left? This is, according to how long to beat, a 14-hour game, Arg, if you can believe it. They looked at this and said, yeah, we can squeeze 14 hours out of this. In terms of this stream, yeah, I'm probably done. Yeah, I'll give it one more fight after this. We split up into two directions, so why not, you know, do the two fights and then call it there. So, one more battle and then I think we're gonna fucking call this a stream. Spin the wheel again, boys. It's another downgrade from the first game. Well, true, although from a streaming perspective, I can appreciate it not being another, you know, 30-hour experience. It is, again, though, on the Nintendo DS, so a downgrade in the graphics and, like, the length is somewhat expected, I think. What I was not expecting was, like, it's an RTS now instead of your traditional RPG. Which is fucking baffling to me. I don't know why they would choose to do that. The old formula worked. It was a tried and true method. They're like, hey, what if we made it, you know, kind of a dungeon crawly thing, but not quite? Oh no! He has a shadow! It's actually concerning. Heal thyself, Jiro. Good boy. Good lad! Jiro check. He's fine! He was a little bit low there, but he's alive, see? There he is, right front and center. It's good and entertaining game, the first one. Well, yeah. It was somewhat predictable, you know, power of friendship and all that, believing in yourself. But, you know, I don't think it was trying to be anything other than that. And it was very good at what it did. This is, uh, I mean, it's cool seeing the characters again. I'll give it that. But, boy, if it weren't for that, I would not be playing this. And here's Maratora. Ha! That's like... Okay, he's from the Devi tribe, a native of Lago, one of Mar Madarame's many younger brothers, age unknown. Oh, okay. Nathan did mention his fucking siblings showed up for some reason. I wonder if they have shadows. Marum Marumira. Marumira is from the Devi tribe, a native of Lago village, one of Maru's many siblings. Of course. Save time and money writing that one. And who? Salia? Who the fuck are you? And why were you on the... 
Why were you on the land shark? Native of Devour Village, lost her parents to Nene's evil doings and was found trapped in the rubble of her village. War, war was saved by Shu. Promises never to give up on life, makes awesome cookies. Oh, this bitch, right. The super depressed girl who made cookies from the Devour Village. Yo, it's all the side characters I forgot about and don't give a shit about. Are you got why were they on the land shark? Are you guys okay? I'm okay. My back hurts. Fucking cool. No one cares. What should we do now? Easy. We help Maru. That's why we came all the way here. More like sneaked our way in. I mean, I can use... Hey, you remember how in the first game, the whole reason they had the shadows was because they ate a piece of the soul? And it was all a secret ploy to nurture that soul to become stronger so that Nene himself could reabsorb it. Now just any old fucking Tom, Dick, and Harry who believes in himself has a shadow? They get the Cliff Notes version of the plot? What happened? We can fight, yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> yep, we got Cerberus, a, a, a shark, I guess. squid octopus thing yeah I also want to help but we may have gotten a little in over our heads oh dear uh, guys um, my wife is currently playing through uh, Danganronpa V3 and uh, <laughs> I just got a text because she wrapped up one of the trials she is not happy she is not happy. She is quite pissed. Wifey is not thrilled with Danganronpa. They're killing the characters she likes. Ah, uh, feels like Oprah up in here. You get a shadow. You get a shadow. You get a shadow. Didn't they establish at the end of the previous game anyone could get a shadow? Did they? I don't recall that. I also want to help, but we may have gotten in a little over our heads. So if you got a shadow there, Salia. But Maru said we couldn't come along, even though we can fight. That's why we came to you. I'd be unhappy if Suichi was our protagonist. No, nah, I think uh, she's refer I, I believe the trial she just finished is the one where um, Luminary of the Stairs. No, it's the one where um, uh, Gonta strangled the girl. Spoilers. Let's continue on. She uh, she rather liked Gonta, and she is not a fan of Kokichi because she hasn't played the full game yet. And, like, has seen what Kokichi is capable of. She'll get there, though. I like Kokichi. Yo, he fucking... Of course, they took eight steps? Awesome. I was super annoyed with Kokichi. And then, you know, that fucking trial happened. And I was like, oh, shit. You know what? Maybe you're all right, Kokichi. Maybe, just maybe, you're all right. Your neighbors suck. Oh, no. Play strap. That trial. She's now playing through three. Yeah, she gets distracted easily. So she started V3, took a break for like a year, and is now uh, getting back to it. Kichi's an old man in Shining Force. Oh, yeah, Shining Force. I got to add that to the list as well. Did you request that, or did you just threaten you were request requesting that? Uh. I cannot recall. You requested it? Okay, so I will add real quick to the list. Shining Force, because we're spinning the wheel here. One more battle. And uh, the other thing you requested, which was Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule. Capsule Monsters. Arena battle force, whatever thing. I don't remember. Whatever it was. And Kirby Squeak Squad. Now, I'm pretty sure you'll note I played that already. Anyway, uh. Move? I could just follow them. Hey guys, I followed you even though we split up. You know, you kind of, you know what? I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to be like, let's split up and then I follow them. It's like, oh, I thought we were going the other way. 
That would be that'd be very. You know what? We're not playing. We're not playing this seriously. Oh yeah, I can just follow them. Sweet. Oh, I have to go that way. And now there's two enemies that way. Well, that's annoying. But we're all here, so. Oh, that's the bomb robot. Oh, this is a boss. Yeah, all right. We'll beat this guy, and then we'll be done with it. I mean, we're here, so. Select your party. Aw. Oh. Well, I guess it'll be the one I didn't use. We're all here, though. Let me battle with everyone. What the fuck, game? Outrageous. King Gibral. That's the one that appeared in the Gibral Castle. Boy, we can't get rid of that fucking guy, can we? If any of them leave the K cube, K the cube, it will be a major catastrophe. Come, all of you, follow me. All right. Defeat the Sentinel yet again. All right. Uh, well, everyone, go fucking whoop their hides. Making a way downtown, walking fast. Faces past, and I'm homebound. Gonna kill these fools. Super dead. Already dead. That was easy. <laughs> the game is easy. We can just reuse character design. Yeah, right. Save space and time. And probably money. You can use all that time and money you saved by not adding a system where they just auto-target people near them. Yeah, I'm going to keep harping about that until the stream is over. It's insane that you beat an enemy and then you have to tell them, now fight the guy one foot next to you, please and thank you. It's so weird that they did that. Oh, that's that taken care of. All right, everyone. Uh, whoop his ass. Get the big guy. Oh, I have wind sword now. Cool. Hit it. I didn't do much. I'll be honest with you. Hey, my guy, you want to fucking go after this dude? What are we doing over here? And you, drink a potion. We're going to have Jiro here to heal us. Kluk is still painful, I see. <laughs> she puts the work in. Mages are busted in games like this. Kids are being jerks and want Pop-Tarts before dinner. You just want to play your game? Oh, man. What do they know? Pop-Tarts are for dinner. Uh-oh. Hey, uh, don't, don't die. Oh, he died. I was gonna heal you in a second. Oh, Jiro has the revive magic, so this is embarrassing. Really need you to get your magic back there, girl. There it is. Jiro heal. He's with the other squad. Well, there we go. If he hadn't used that sword, I'd have had that. This is not immediate game over if Shu goes down. That is nice. Hated that shit in Blue Dragon. And he gets, well, half experience, it looks like. Which is still nice, even though he was KO'd. He gets half the experience. That's actually super cool that they do that. 
if your guy was KO'd, he can still have half the experience, as opposed to the normal RPG thing where it's like he gets zero experience. Jeerless run. Well, half of it is. They had to split the party. Good job. We are victorious. Yeah, except for Shu, who totally died. But whatever. The rest of us are victorious. Well, that's that, I guess. Oh, boy. What a... What a... I'll be honest. For all, for all the hype and the wait for Blue Dragon 2, kind of a disappointment. Like... For real. They made it an RTS. What the hell? Ham tar ham ham heartbreak too. When? When someone requests it. Well, I mean... That's... I have negative interest in playing this anymore. So that is going to be uh, the stream today. I put in over two hours of this. Let me pull up the wheel, babies. Spin the wheel to the side. Alrighty. Copy you. Place you right there. Paste you, rather. Uh, read a plot synopsis of this game? Sure. Well, we'll see how it ends. Let me open up Wikipedia here. Do a dramatic reading of uh, this game. Blue Dragon Plus. Could be Cooking Mama. Blue Dragon Plus. Plot. One year after the events of the original game, the world continues to embrace uh, and explore the cube worlds that resulted from opening the planet's core. One day, King Jabral and Zola encounter a mysterious evil three-headed dragon shadow called Belaur emerging from one of the cubes. Zola has a bad feeling about it, and after informing Shu and the party, they find themselves on another adventure to discover this new threat. That's it. Has a real nice Metacritic score of 69. Laggy wheel, we'll see. We'll see. Fucking great description of that game, by the way. Sister forgot uh, she can call you. What, like on a phone? What the fuck? How do you forget that? Anyway. Uh, let's see. Window capture, you're going to become uh, Firefox. There we go. Uh, let me let me zoom out of here. Or readjust real quick. Uh, sorry, the way this is set up is super scuffed. It always is. Don't mind me. There we go. All right. The wheel. Uh, yeah, slick babies. We have... <clears throat> Uh, Rocket Power Beach Bandits. What kind of genre Blue Dragon 3 will be? According to this, it's another real-time strategy, by the way. She might just wish you happy birthday on meta. Oh, fucking great. Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters. Shining Force. Simpsons Hit and Run. No More Heroes. Travis Strikes Back. Journey to the Savage Planet. Sheep, Wolf, and Dog. Cooking Mama. WrestleMania 12. Uh, AI. The Somnium Files. Black Sad. Smash Bros. NPC. Another World, The Tony Hawk, American Wasteland, Star Fox Assault, Red Dead Redemption 2. Portal 2 co-op with my very annoyed wife at the moment because she's playing through Dang uh, Danganronpa V3. Halo 3, Halo Reach, Mass Effect 2, 360 Speed Run, The Sly Trilogy, Cuphead 100%, Skyrim, Dark Souls, Random, Elden Ring, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro 3, Devil May Cry, Legends of Ligai, All Madarames, Pokemon, Crystal Clear, Sleeping Dogs, West of Loathing, Sacred Cards, Bunch of My Time at Porsches, Shadow of Memory, Ib, Shovel Knight, and Phoenix Wright. Gonna raid PK after this. Is she still going? I suppose I might as well re raid her. Oh, is Cooking Mama... Yeah, Cooking Mama's right there with WrestleMania. There's Cooking Mama. Calm down. Calm down. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll raid PK after this. She's playing uh, Slime Rancher. Some people seem into that. Back from getting a snow cone. You and your snow cones. We're about to spin the wheel because fuck this game. What's it gonna be? I'm hoping it's Phoenix, right? We're gonna find out. Please let it just be Phoenix, right? For the love of God. Doesn't, well, might come back around. Not nah, slowing down. 
Slowing down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's Cuphead, everyone. It is Cuphead. In between Sly 3 and Skyrim, we have Cuphead 100%. So if you like me suffering, guess what I'm booting up on my Xbox tomorrow? Hey, at least it's a quality game, you know? At least it's a quality game that we'll all get to enjoy punishing myself with together. We'll look at the achievement list tomorrow, uh, as well as everything I'm going to need to do. Probably just going to try and, you know, beat it normally once through the first time, and then do, like, one of the achievements is get A's on every boss. Probably going to get that after the fact. You know, beat it normally the first time. You like Hamtaro. Not in Cuphead, if you can believe it. If you can believe it, not in Cuphead. All right. Well, let's see. Where is... Oh, this is... Um... Let me uh, Let me hide that. You can see the map there. Well, Raid PK here. Where is Raid Channel? Uh, PK. All right. Starting the raid. Give PK some love. Playing Slime Rancher 2. Let her know who sent you. Love you all. Be good people. I will see you tomorrow for Cuphead. Hi everyone, welcome. We're playing the lovely Slime Rancher 2, which released about six hours ago, five hours ago. Ranch those slimes. Oh, I've I've had such a lovely time so far. <laughs> 